Billionaire investor Carl Icahn is betting against struggling mall owners. His $400 million short puts him up against some of the largest money managers in the United States. We want to turn to the panel on this one. Traders told the Wall Street Journal that this puts Icahn as the largest short seller of mall debt. I mean, basically he's saying what we're witnessing, malls are last year's news. Yeah, They're intellectually done. it looks like a good trade. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, just common sense, but often- But it hasn't worked out. Hasn't worked out, but often some of the great short sellers, they're actually early on the trade. Mm. A lot of them have fallen by the wayside and a great short seller needs not just the, the, the persistence, but he also has to have the capital base to sustain the run against his capital. Is there any theory, and, and we were talking about it in the morning meeting, is it potential that he sees some kind of value for the real estate that malls occupy at some point in the future? Or is he's he just saying put a fork? Yeah, he's just putting a fork in it. No, well, I don't know, uh, Carl. I'm a real fan of, of Carl Icahn. He's, he's a brilliant man that would, that would be in his wheelhouse for sure. It's a, it's a possibility. I mean, the other thing to say, and by the way, all the mall owners' stocks, even though he, we're talking about debt in this situation, the shares are trading lower today. You've got Simon Property Group lower, Maserich lower. You've already seen quite a Go to the mall. Shrinking. I mean, there's no surprise Well, in but there's already been a lot of shrinking, right, of American malls. Uh, we have talked for years about the overstoring of America, and a lot of companies have closed stores. So I guess the timing question is really important here. If this is going to happen, if we're going to see more defaults, when is that going to happen? Well, and we also normally associate malls with retailers, but you could have a gym in a mall. You can make other use cases of that mall sort of footprint because yes. it's a big space. And there and I have think been some pretty expensive what, gym. Yeah, thank you. But there have yeah, been but some there's, transformations. There's, there's Dave and Buster's. There's other use cases to replace department stores if they go out of business. And we're seeing this happen. This is not this just- was, This was an unscientific poll at the morning meeting, but I was kind of surprised when I asked this morning, who here enjoys going and walking around a mall? And a bunch and of people raised their yeah, hands. Yeah, well, the 20-somethings on the team raised their hands. And I was thinking, are you kidding me? I thought this was the 1980s you know, death knell. Malls were dead, but I was that shocked me. Again, well, it's only 10 Well, you also asked year. them if they like walking around the mall. You yeah. didn't ask them if they buy things when they Very go important there. distinction. <laughs> because there is still that experience. Oh, they no, are does, They just us told they us buy they buy things. stuff. Okay. What do you think of that, though? I mean, honestly, we're talking about the next generation of people, the 20-year-olds and the 30-year-olds. Are they really going to shop at malls? I suppose a mall can morph into something else, like Scott was alluding to. You know, maybe it can be something. Maybe it can be something of an, amu an amusement park. I know we're losing the Stanford Mall where I live, uh, but there's another mall going up. But they mm. made that decision a decade ago. Oh, interesting. And just following through on it. It was actually postponed for a long time. I'm actually shocked it, it got finished, but... And maybe, Nevertheless, it went up. Maybe there's a nostalgia effect. I mean, Stranger Things featured a mall very prominently in its latest season. Who Is knows? it an efficient use of capital? In the end, that's no. what's going to determine. What's the new one in Secaucus, so. New Jersey? It just opened up. Oh, yeah. Dream, um, yeah. Dreamland or? Huge. American Dream. Right. Yes. American Dream. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.